today, researchers. I'm Sir VJ, and I will be your lecturer for today's session. And today, our topic is all about real reliability testing of an instrument. Today, let's talk about the common strategies of a researcher in testing the reliability of an instrument. From the definition itself, reliability refers to the consistency, stability of the instrument over time. Ibig sabihin ka pa din kahit ilang taon or ilang months yung lumipas since ikakandak natin yung study is maybe on November, December, or January. Yung items na nandun sa questionnaire natin is pwede pa din natin siyang gamitin that time. And when we say consistency, lahat ng items mo sa loob ng questionnaire ninyo is tinatarget yung SOP ninyo and yung aim ninyo with your study. Ibig sabihin lang kapatid, ganito lang siya kasimple, kasimple. Kung ang gusto mong malaman is about satisfaction, dapat yung questions mo from number one hanggang dun sa end questions mo is all about satisfaction. For example, about understanding, dapat about understanding, hindi awareness. Kasi nagkakalituhan tayo about awareness and understanding. Magka, magkaalaman na dun na pag number one about understanding, pag number one is about awareness and all throughout sa question about awareness or understanding. That is the consistency or stability na instrument. And there are two main uh, ways to check the consistency or the reliability of our instrument. The first one is test three test. It's a reliability measure that involves the same people who will take the same test with the same questions. So, kapatid, parang ganito lang siya. Sa madaling sabi, ito yung pilot testing or ito yung pre-test na ginagawa natin to check Kung yung questions na ginawa natin over time or with the same people is magkakaroon siya ng same result. Ibig sabihin nun kapatid, pag ganun yung ginawa ninyo is reliable yung mga questions na nagawa natin. And next one is internal consistency. Involves making sure that the instruments are internally consistent across parts. Ibig sabihin kapatid, if may category tayo, hindi siya magulo, hindi halo-halo yung questions natin and consistent yung mga uh, questions natin all throughout and one way to check the reliability or the consistency is Cronbach Alpha. It's the common method to be used since it is suitable for a Likert scale type of instrument. Since kapatid, ang research design natin is quantitative. Remember is that in Cronbach Alpha, most agree of a mean internal consistency coefficient is around 0.70 to 0.95. Nandito kapatid, ipapakita sa video kung ano yung mga levels natin about uh, sa Cronbach Alpha. Sa 0.70 is the acceptable part and to 0.95 is the excellent part. Meaning to say kapatid, if yung questionnaire ninyo is nakakuha ng below 70 na internal or internal consistency coefficient, ibig sabihin yan, questionable yan. Or maybe poor. And ibig sabihin kapatid, it's subject for revision or rejection. And that's all for today kapatid for our session. It's all about reliability testing of an instrument. And kapatid, remember, hindi ibig sabihin na reliable yung, uh, reliable yung instrument natin. Hindi ibig sabihin nun valid din siya. Kailangan maging valid muna siya bago siya maging reliable. And kapatid, always remember, here in research department, we provide excellence, integrity, and service. That's all for today. See you in our next session.